Hello, and welcome to the channel. In this video, Larry will be preparing an incredible corned beef and cabbage recipe. So let's get into the cook. If you're a returning viewer to the channel, welcome back to Larry Under Pressure. If this is your first time, we welcome you. Hope you'll enjoy what you see and join up by subscribing to the channel. We have um, almost 700 subscribers now, looking for a thousand by the end of um, October. Hopefully before then. Today we're fixing corned beef and cabbage. And corned beef and cabbage, you'll say, well, that's for St. Patrick's Day and around there. Well, yeah, it is. But then we're eating turkey year-round too, and it's not just for Thanksgiving anymore. So I thought it would be a good day to fix some corned beef and cabbage. So let's get started. It's easy to do. It just takes some time. I'm doing it in the slow cooker. We're using the Instant Pot Dutch Oven. It's a great new item that they have in their lineup. And we'll talk more about it later in the video. There'll also be a link to purchase one in the information that follows. And they're not real expensive. So the first thing we're doing is we're putting potatoes and carrots. I'm using baby carrots and baby potatoes. And we're going to pour them right in and then kind of mix them up. That'll be the base for what we're cooking for the meat. Uh, we're not going to put the cabbage in now. I don't like cabbage that's mushy so we're going to wait until about an hour to two hours before the end of the cook and then we're going to put the uh, cabbage in so it won't be mushy next thing we're going to do you can use either a cup and a half of water or chicken stock or whatever else you'd like in this or you can use pale or dark ale i'm going to use dark ale i've got some Guinness's ale left from when I fixed the Guinness's Irish stew last week. So that's what I'm going to use from Ireland, the Guinness's ale. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in now, right on top of the vegetables. Of course, any alcohol that's in that, and there's not a lot, will cook out within the first minute or two of the heat hitting it. So you don't have to worry about it being real alcoholic or being bad for kids or anybody else. Next I'm going to put some pepper. I'm not going to put salt in it because the corned beef itself, even though I've rinsed it and washed it off, is still real salty. That's what corned beef is. It's a beef brisket that's been brined. So I've washed it off. As I said, we're going to put it in on top of those vegetables and on top of the beer and the pepper and we're going to put fat side up. So as that fat renders with the heat, it'll baste the meat itself. Then the next thing we're gonna do is something that I saw somebody else doing on YouTube and I thought it was a great idea. I'm gonna use spicy brown mustard, just plain old spicy brown mustard, and I'm gonna put that on top of the meat. We're gonna put a good bit on there. And then we're gonna take a spoon and smooth it around on top to add a little bit of kick of flavor. Um, I understand that you really don't taste the mustard. All you taste is the spices that are in it, but it's not a mustardy flavor. So I thought we'd give it a try. What do we have to lose? Except a corned beef brisket, but I doubt that'll happen. Okay, we have our mustard on there. We have the beer in there. Here are some bay leaves. You're supposed to use one or two. Of course, I use four or five because I, I really like them. Then we're gonna put the lid on the pot. This Dutch oven's really cool. On the inside of the lid, it has these little dimples so that as the condensation gets up to the top, it evenly distributes it back into the dish you're cooking. Let's set up the pot to do the cook. Let's turn the pot on. Let's go to slow cook. And we're going to do eight hours. How about eight hours and 30 minutes? And start. 
there we go. We've had eight hours and 30 minutes. We'll check back in on it in a couple hours and see how we're progressing. All right, it's been about four hours now on the corned beef and cabbage dish. So let's open it up and take a look. We still haven't put the cabbage in. If you remember, we're going to wait until the last hour, hour and a half to two hours to do that. But it's looking good. It's looking real good. The potatoes are looking good. The carrots are good. Let's turn this over. And make sure we keep moisture on it so we get the other side done as well. And we're going to check and see what the internal temperature is. It needs to be at least 165, and I'm sure it's well beyond that, and that's okay. 194. 195. So the meat's actually done, and it's very tender. But we're going to let it cook on for about another hour. And then we're going to remove it and put the cabbage in there. I'm going to put the lid back on the pot. And the reason I'm having to use a cloth on it is because the handle, is the knob on the top is very hot. It's all metal because this pot, it's, well, I told you I would tell you some more about this Dutch oven later in the video. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's a pretty cool thing item. I've always wanted a thick cast iron Dutch oven that's ceramic coated and I found this that Instant Pot makes. It has the heat source built into it but it can also be used in the oven or on the stove or on the um, anything that you heat. Oh it's heavy. The pot comes right out and can be used and these um, pots like got these Dutch ovens are especially expensive but this is such a good deal it's only a few dollars more for the whole setup including the heat source the base the pot and everything else so I jumped at it um, I'll have a link to it in the description below with the price so you can take a look and if you're as impressed as I am you might want to try one it's available in various colors I liked the red it's available in black, red, blue, and green. So there we have it. We'll be back in just a little while and check it out one more time. Let's finish up the last phase of the corned beef and cabbage. Let's take the lid off. We'll get the corned beef out of there. Let me put this lid aside. Get the corned beef out and put it on a plate and let it rest because it's done. It looks amazing. Then I'll tet it with aluminum foil. And we're going to put the cabbage to cook for the last little while. I've chopped up the head of cabbage pretty much into quarters because that that's stuck together like this, it'll come apart once it starts cooking and, and wilts. So we've got that in there. I might, after that sits in there for 45 minutes or so and wilts down, I might go ahead and put the meat back in just to keep it warm. In the meantime, let's put the lid on to keep it warm. And we'll check back with it in just a little bit and see how it's progressing. The corned beef and cabbage is done. It's fully cooked. Let me take the lid off and show you. The cabbage is done. The potatoes, the carrots, everything's all finished and done. Uh, if you remember, we took the corned beef out about an hour and a half ago and put the cabbage in so it could cook, and now everything's ready. I'm going to plate this up. We'll take a look at it and take a taste and wrap the video up. There it is, all set. We've got the...
corned beef, the cabbage, the potatoes, the carrots, everything. And it looks great. And not only does it look great, I may have snuck a little taste of it. And it's just delicious. This has been a, a fun one to fix and it's a great one to look forward to eating. So we're getting ready to sit down and eat it for supper. Looks like a real winner. Hope you'll enjoy it when you fix it. If you've enjoyed this, we'd love to have your subscription. And you can do that. You can subscribe in the space below. There'll also be a full printed recipe that you can print out on your computer, as well as links to items that I use in filming these videos, uh, Amazon purchase links. And it helps the channel when you purchase them through there and doesn't cost you any more. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to hosting you again on our next video. Have a great evening. Andrew here again. Thanks for visiting us for our corned beef and cabbage video. Below, you'll find a printed recipe for this dish. You may highlight and print it if you'd like a hard copy. There are also Amazon purchase links available for many of the items Larry uses on the channel. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon on our next video presentation. This has been a Larry Under Pressure production. Take care.